High School. Welcome to the first Roo Review of 2013. On this week's Roo Review, we'll be talking about the big stories and what's happening at the Weatherford High School. Our top story this week, we'll be talking about the girls' bas basketball team and how they're coming off of their big season and how they'll be making their push to the playoffs. Brendan Raymond has the story. basketball team is 6-5 in this district in 18-11. They need to win the next three games in order to clinch the third place spot for playoffs. Tonight they travel to Arlington High to play them for traveling to Pascal to play them for finishing their season home against North Corrali. Two out of three wins will almost guarantee the girls a spot in playoffs the fourth seed, but three out of three wins will put them up in the third place. That has our girls excited for their first playoff trip in four years. How do y'all feel going into these games? Uh, we're really excited and pumped and we're just ready to be at playoffs. What will it take to win against Arlington High tonight and finish the season strong? Um, it will definitely take everyone to step up on defense and offense both. We have to knock down some threes tonight. We have to feed our post. We have to make good passes and we have to work as a team. Do y'all feel pressure having to win out all three games to make the playoffs? Uh, we definitely feel a lot of pressure, but uh, I think we have a lot of confidence that we'll win the rest of our games. Last time they faced the Colts, the girls won by a margin of 40 points, and the goal for this week is to hold them under 20 points and practice their defense. With their coach, Coach Sadel, said, with the five seniors and five juniors, it is a very close-knit team, and we will need a strong defense to win out this season. In other sports news, our Roos powerlifting season is getting underway, and Matthew Garner has our powerlifting report. Powerlifting season opened last week. When some people think about powerlifting, they think about beefed up bodybuilders trying to squeeze into miniature leotards, like this guy. But actually, in high school powerlifting, boys and girls compete in 13 different weight classes, ranging from 98 pounds to super heavyweight, which is over 250 pounds. The WHS girls team competed this week at the Weatherford Invitational Meet. Sophomore Taylor Marsh finished first place in her weight class and lifters Camille Carey and Madison Cooley and Bethany Jackson all placed second in their respective divisions. The boys meanwhile traveled to Granbury and dominated the competition, winning the meet by 26 points. Top finishers were Dusty Shower and Clayton Hensley who both lifted the top weight when the body weight is factored in. Other top finishers included Jace Ford, who went, won the Super 8 division, heavyweight division, I'm sorry, and Fred Brownlee, who took first place in the 132 pound division. Powerlifting returns this week with the girls traveling to Fort Worth Brewer and the boys having their meet here at the Outback this Thursday. We bring you the results as they come in next week. For the Powerlifting Report, I'm Matthew Bonner. Congratulations to Weatherford High School siblings Brooke and Dylan Chilka. They represented our school FFA team at the Fort Worth Livestock Show this past weekend. The, sh the team showed their competition lambs in both the open and junior divisions at the major livestock event. Brooke won fourth and, and fifth place for Dorset U lambs, had s the second place pair of Dorsets, and took third place for her Hampshire lamb. Brother Dylan placed third for his Suffolk U lamb. Nice job by our FFA team and their animals. Those must have been some good looking lambs. The re-register for the 2013-2014 school year has been updated and is now available for students to view through the school's district website. The re-register contains information about registering for courses for the upcoming school year, including descriptions of all the electives and career technology classes that students may be interested in. It also contains information about graduation requirements and dual credit opportunities. Students can find the re-register by going to weatherfordisd.com. Scroll down and look at the right side of the page to find the new re-register. Click the button and you'll be taken to the registers table of contents. Scroll through the document and you'll find the course descriptions and credits requirements. The review will have more on this topic next time when we look at graduation, college, and scholarship applications.
Opening announcement here at the WHS Theater Department will be proudly unveiling their spring show this week when the Sound of Music opens at the Durant Auditorium. The cast and crew have been hard at work for months putting together what is sure to be a rousing performance full of music and drama. The WB performance will be Thursday night at 7 p.m. and the additional shows will be Friday night and Saturday night at 2 p.m. and again at 7. Admission is $10 and free for children under 5. Friday morning, all students will be able to catch a sneak peek of the show during club time. Tickets for this mini show are available for your teacher for only $3, so show your support for your fellow students and your love of musical theater by catching one of these shows. Welcome.